no fucking idea what I'm doing. Da, 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 da. That's not on the core. All right, let's see here. I need. Oh no, I don't go there. Let's see. Um. Where's my chat working? <laughs> All right, that worked. What's up, the crudest terror? How you doing today? Hopefully well. I um, <laughs> I fucking love this. I'm uh, so gifted in the realm of the OBS um, interface. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get the other shots that I want today. Um, I have a uh, and <laughs> I'm doing well. Cool. Um, I got the chat on the screen, which is tenfold better than I had been doing before. I have the overheads, but they're acting quirky. Like, I don't know why. I don't know. Like, they've been temperamental. Like, so when I have here, like I'll show you. Like, I have the overhead here, but it does that, which is psychedelic, I guess, but it's not optimal activity, but whatever, whatever. So, uh, let's see here. Um, <laughs> I know this is going to be mind blowing, but I didn't prepare anything today. Um, but we will get some shit done. Uh, there was, um, last week there was a, a riff I started putting together, um, on here and I don't remember at all what it looks like. I was thinking um, we could work on serialism. Uh, that might be a fun thing to fuck with today. But uh, if not that, then something else. Um, all right, let's see here. Okay. Um, where's my brain? I don't remember. Uh, okay, so let's uh, go ahead and, oh, I got a sound check to make sure you can hear the Guitar Pro right now. So let's first do this. <laughs> But how's the, um, does it sound, is it acceptable for the time being? Like, should we have it louder or quieter? I still want to try to, there has to be a fucking way to get it to run through so you can actually hear what my computer is doing. I'm assuming if there's a fucking spirit in the universe that cares about us, which it might not very well be. Alright, um, uh, levels of time kind of hard to hear along with it though. Oh, probably, probably just because you're hearing the microphone. 
All right, so I'm going to. Uh, all right, so now so I can actually focus. At the, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it'd be hard to hear me because I'm like fighting over the 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 microphone on my laptop. So, oops. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start playing. We'll see where we're at with everything, and we'll go from there. I think the rest of the shit is just like the raw material. There was one thing I, an idea I had when we were going through the, uh, the raw material that I wanted to, um, try. All right. So we had this, like this riff right here goes into like the little panic chord, uh, stereotypical snare accent on the panic chord, Dillinger kind of like early 2000s, like math chord. Thing. I was thinking uh, maybe it would be neat if we had just like descending. I mean, really, it would be cool if we did. Ah, uh, here, hold on. All right, so how do we insert a bar again? I think it's this. Is uh, the the screen too glitchy or anything right now? Does it seem to be moving smoother than it might have previous weeks? Hopefully, I like reset my entire laptop to factory preset like yesterday. Um, cause I was fed up with this bullshit. Alright. Uh, oops, excuse me. So I'm thinking, right now instead of having it repeat five times, I am going to <laughs> put five measures of it together and, uh, do like a chromatic run. I'm only, I'm setting up everything for two guitars my um or i mean one guitar because i'm the only one right now that i'm planning on having playing guitar on this project but um sometimes when you're in the studio you like to do some shit that like only four armed guitarists could do and right now i'm thinking if uh having like a descending let's see here if we went uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen jesus christ um <coughs> Uh, descending uh, minor second uh, chords as this went along. Um, one thing that's fun to do, especially if you are a band with um, two guitarists, is uh, harmonize, if you will, the minor second chords. So you literally have, you know, 
four notes, four minor, three minor seconds, I guess, stacked on top of each other, which sounds really fucking cool. I, um, I've done that before in the studio. I can't think of a particular time that I have, but I'm, I speak with an intuition undeniable that, and I have certainly done that. Uh, all right, the 10, and then, uh, I would probably put it on here just to hear it. Actually, we could just do it for fun, because no one's in charge of us. Mom's not home. I'm fucking allowed to do whatever I want. If I want to buy bananas and not eat them, I will. Alright, so this is what that sounds like. Uh, so, for starting off... Uh, see, I think that's neat. And neat's an important thing, you know? If, uh, if you're making music that you don't think's neat, it better have some other strong connection to you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to name this project Strong Connection to You. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, I'll listen to that one more time because I just did it. And I actually like the way it sounded. All right. Um, what I was saying we could do just, um, I don't know, I'm going to even add this. I guess I can. Uh, add track. Oh, wait, I can do, I can go down here, I think, and just add, um, Add track, duplicate, distortion, guitar. Okay, and then if we're right here, um, what we would do is just move all these a minor second up. Oops. And uh, transpose. Yeah, I'm actually going to do a major second up because I got a leapfrog over that one note. So it would sound like this. <laughs> You couldn't really hear that. Um, I'm gonna just turn that off for the sake of sanity. Um, but I'm wondering what uh, is that? The is that different? Okay, so then I got an idea where we'll do the same thing. We'll repeat it again, just like we did. But we're going to um, keep those same drums where it looks like it's just on, what is that, every eighth note? Is that like like some like hyper blast fucking insanity, whatever? Um, let's see here. Boom. Doo -doo -doo. And then um, I think whatever we have, dick, I think whatever we have going on in the beginning might be the beginning of... If not this particular song, something, um, which could be cool if we actually started putting shit together and um, create a statement, a bank statement. This band's going to be called Bank Statement <laughs> because I want it to be that way because it makes it sound like we have money. All right. This. Nope, I want this. So, what I'm thinking is, I did it really, I did it like staccato before, but now on this particular one where the double bass is just ripping and the snare is just kicking down on like a, a, a blast beat, we could probably just let these notes ring out to make it sound fuller if that's a term or at least if anything more dynamic um, uh, do you guys think we should try working on the material for, um, that was played at the beginning I can play that again or I'm thinking maybe I should try to write more material just cuz there's never enough raw material uh, think about that I'm gonna play this <laughs> That's badass. 
dude. <laughs> I think that's fucking neat. Oh, and then it goes into that riff afterwards. All right, what would this sound like? All right. <laughs> I'm probably just jazzed up on coffee. <laughs> See, the thing I notice sometimes when um, writing material, like, I will have these, like, I'm assuming most musicians or artists, artists across the board, who have spent a little bit of time with critical thought as far as deciding what to do, what approach to take, what decisions to make. What to do? What to do? I should be a fucking rapper on Sesame Street. Anyways, um, this is gonna so sick. Everyone say hi to Frapoli. Maybe junk, silent, whatever. Um, where's my brain? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I found that like I'll have like say an idea like riff. A well, for example, right here I have this riff A where um. Most of the time it's going, it's like kind of like a straight ahead groove in the riff. There's a paradiddle happening. It's over like uh, six, eight. There's a paradiddle going between the hi-hat and the bell. And the the kick is just like, instead of four on the floor, what would you call it? Like six on the sticks. I don't know, whatever. Um, and the one thing that I did to change it up, and I'm, I just went on a tangent. The one thing I'm doing to change up the, um, the beat to keep it like progressively interesting is I'm putting the snare on interesting um uh interesting um points in the rhythmic melody none of it sounds particularly weird they all kind of had their own cool groove that isn't like outside the box um which would make it hard to decide which one to use but I'm realizing if we just use all of them in just an odd number everything else is pretty straightforward it might be a cool effect that being said all right so this riff exists whatever Right after this riff I'm about to play, it, it picks in with this like puka kind of like um, drum beat, um, which is cool. This is my point. Right now, it, I feel like there needs to be more of a transition between the two. I don't even know if one needs to lead to the other directly. And it's great when you feel inspired when you can make these decisions, when I can just go from this like one riff here into this next riff from, you know, like I'm basically going from this riff. Like, I feel like there needs to be more, something more creative, more intricate, uh, a cooler statement. But the point I'm eventually gonna to get to right now is that I find when I have decided to just let it be like that, even though I, I, I don't feel like it's like, you, you know, like this ingenious, <laughs> not everything. Like it was like the, the stars were came together when these two riffs were put together, you know, like, like it was destiny. Like, I don't feel like that's destiny right now. I find that often when I just do that, I acclimate to it. I, I train myself to think that those two are supposed to go together. Um, but, uh, that's where I'm at. Okay, so I'm gonna fucking just jump around like I'm nuts. Um, be dowdy 207. Thank you for the dirty. I appreciate the dirty. All right. Uh, so yeah, here we go. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Uh, we could either work on this, or maybe we should try to write another riff. And if that other riff goes somewhere, then cool. If not, we can try to um develop this. So I'll play this last part here again. You know, I know 
notice something. For some reason, all right, so like I go through this riff, we'll just say eight times, whatever, it's whatever, eight measures or whatever. And then I go when I go into it the second time around, the first four measures, I have like the quarter note crash to change it up from the paradiddle. And it sounded cool. Um, but on the second group of four, I go back into the paradiddle. Um, what the fuck? Does that make you mad too? Like, I'm fucking pissed. I, I don't know. I'm looking over here because that's where I see your names. But if I look here, I should be looking at you. I'm having a problem. I have like this autistical. Autist, I'm feeling very autistical right now. All right, whatever. Uh, what if we did the same thing but added like triplet scallops uh, uh, for the, the kick drum underneath that? Uh, let's go here. Uh, like, I wonder if I was just like editing that before and I decided something. Sometimes decisions will make you think things. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, why don't I just add that to there? All right, so I'm gonna put a galloping kick first. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, boom. Oh wait, no. Oops. Like often when I when I sit down and I try to be disciplined about my writing process, there comes at least one moment where I have to stop and I have to reflect what would Iron Maiden do? And this is something Iron Maiden would do. All right. Uh, can you guys even hear the kick drum when this is going on like right here like I mean, I'm going to listen to it again and see how it sounds. And then, uh... What if, uh, instead of the peridotal over there, uh, super fast double bass? Um, do 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 Oops. Thirty-five is kick. Fifty-three is bell. Fuck up. I don't even know why I'm doing that. So how's everyone's uh weekend? Are you uh anxiously awake oh you can hear the kick drum? Alright, cool. Uh is everyone looking forward to Easter? I don't want it to just be on these fucking dotted eighth notes, but I'm putting it there because I don't want it to think right now. What did I have for the snare action before that? Oh, on the last. Okay, let's see what happens if I go boom. And I go boom. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Actually, that would be cool if it was like a snare, like that, 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 that. I can't fucking move my my muscles right now. Oh, yeah. um, Andrea. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just hear what that sounds like, cause I can't do that right now. This is the time. This is the place. Oh. oh wait, no, fuck, I, <laughs> I just, I didn't even listen to what the other thing fucking sounded like before I started putting snare rolls over it. Uh, let's see here, if I just go. Um, 
that sounded weird going into like the halftime double bass thing. Uh, but I still can put a million snares there. Just snare rolls. <laughs> My band's gonna make a bank statement. I think I'm funny. 7 out of 10 dentists think I'm funny. So I got, I got new health insurance, and when I looked <laughs> to see, I, I needed to get uh, my, my, the cost of my meds um, went down, which is great, but I got to just tell you this, this is amazing. So my meds, I have four different meds I take, um, and it told me how much money I saved on my meds. Dude, this is fucking nuts. All right, the first three are pretty stupid. $192, $291, and $112. Nuts, right? The, the fourth one, $1,047. <laughs> Dude, so the math is, it's like, fuck. It's like $1,600 worth of fucking meds, dude. I'm not that fucking crazy. Like, seriously. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Well, I do. Fucking pharmaceutical companies. Fucking a lucrative industry. God, man. I had no idea. That just happened, by the way. So that's kind of on my mind. That's nuts. A thousand dollars. Fucking crazy. All right. Uh, I'm going to add a crash here because every time I hear this again, it pisses me off that there isn't one. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> that I didn't do it. It wasn't a very good gallop, but it did do something weird. Like, I'm not sure what the fuck it did. What's it following? It's kind of got a cool polyrhythm thing. We should probably put the bass over that. All right, everyone. Um, what if you add in the sixth uh, string on the first, uh, ugh, my tongue, on the first and third chords of the eighth measure? <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right. Uh, what if you add in the sixth string? Are we talking about the high E? Um, on the first and third chords of the eighth measure. Right, during that little, like, that turnaround or whatever. Maybe. Um, it's definitely an idea worth, uh, let's see here, a uh, high note, safe chord. Um I like hearing the low uh, resonance of those particular chords, but that being said, it's an idea and it might be really cool. High notes, eighth measure. Remember that. Um, in the meantime, whatever the fuck I just did here it was stupid. <laughs> uh, um, I'm going to give it I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Uh, and everyone, it's Paul's birthday, so I wish him a happy birthday. And I have to write a riff for him, because uh, that's what people do on birthdays. They write riffs for Paul. <laughs> it's not always for Paul, but usually for Paul. Uh, da. I'm going to erase these things I don't plan on using. Or maybe I could syncopate. Oh, that's a... What happens? Uh, let's hear what this sounds like. That could be a, that could be a drum beat in itself. That's pretty fucking sick. Um... What if 
that became. Alright. It still didn't do that triplet thing, but I'm going to add this to here. If, if it sounds like it. Wait, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to leave that there because I don't... Something has to happen with that fucking drum beat. It sounds pretty cool. All right. I'm going to do this. All right, uh, <laughs> um, I'll play this one. Uh, all right, I want it like I'm like there's things I enjoy right now, so I want to keep listening to them, which is a good thing, right? Uh, all right, so we're gonna write a riff. It's Paul's birthday. Uh, let's see here if I can figure out how to operate this. Okay. Um, We'll work on that chord thing in a second, crudest terror. Uh, but right now we are going to try to uh, figure out what the fuck we're going to do for a riff here. All right. Um, per use, let's come up with uh, three different type signatures over 16. Let's see if my video thing is going to eat butt. Uh, rooms, desk, overhead. Let's see here. Um, all right, start shooting the bed. All right, so we need. What are we gonna do here? Let's come up with ideas. All right, so we're, we need to come up with the most fucking stupid Paul fucking thing, dude. This. Why is the screen acting that way? I wonder if I just unplug this. <laughs> what will happen? <laughs> fucking. Uh, okay, I unplug that. That turned that off, then I plugged it back in, and then, <laughs> this is fucking, ah, oh, it's so long. Whatever, dude. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. All right, measures. Okay, so I'm going to go, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, we're going to just do three time signatures. One is going to be... 616 one is going to be 116 no okay um yeah let's do 716 and uh 1116 again okay so we got those two uh let's see here what well, i Serialism's on my mind today. I don't. I can't think of anything practical to do about that. With that today. Uh, let's see here. Um, fuck. Can't think of anything. All right. Well, let's just put some shit together. All right. Uh, first measure will be six sixteen. Um, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. Alright, let's let's look at the these three numbers and see if we can find any magic with them. Uh, before alright, so six and seven sixteen. Alright, so that would be huh. Like if we took this, maybe make this ten and this eight over sixteen, that would be three six sixteenths. So that would basically be two twelve sixteenths and a ten sixteen. Does that matter at all? So that would be what am I thinking here? Twenty two eleven sixteen again. 
I could just do the last. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? I'm trying to find some magic and none of it's coming to mind right now. Uh, 11, 16. Alright, let's see if I can write a riff in 11, 16. And then we're going to try to utilize those other numbers on there to uh, say something beautiful. All right, so let's see. What notes would you find in Paul's fucking name here? We got Paul Gendek. Okay, so we got, there's an A, there's a G, an E, and a D, um, P. Could be a pull-off or a piano. <laughs> Quiet. You. So he's full of himself. L as in. What would L be? At music notation. The, if you press L, it's an extension. Uh, all right. So H'd. <laughs> Go figure. If you take the musical notes from Paul's name and you put them together, it spells H'd. And that's something we figured out on his birthday. If that's not fucking adorable, what the fuck is? All right. Uh, okay, so we have um, a major second, minor seventh there. Not the biggest fan of those. We have uh, perfect fourth, fifth there. Perfect fourth, fifth there. All right, so we got two power chords. And then G and E, we can do G up to a minor sixth, so that might be cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, A to D is the is a fourth. All right, so what are we? What am I saying here? We've got if there's a fourth there, D F A. Oh, okay, that wouldn't work. We're just doing a sus chord. All right, so we know that we can go from E to. Um, <laughs> We're going to go from E to uh, G ascending, which would be a minor 6. All right, that's cool. And then um, we're going to go uh, down. Uh, here, we'll, I'll do this on tab here. B, G, D. Uh, what am I doing here? A, D, B, G. All right, so we're going to start with E. Or uh, actually, it's, oh, fuck. I'm just going to transcribe it like you would on a normal guitar. All right, so E, then you go up to 10, which would be G. Wait, am I in fucking dope? Wait, G to E would be 3 to 5. E to G would be a minor third. Oh, oh, okay. So fuck that. All right, so we're going to go 0 to 3. No, I like the 6th anyway, so we're going to go... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, G, which would be 3, up to 7. And then we're going to go down a fifth to 5. So we got G, E, and A. And then, um, all right, so now we're on A. Does anything cool happen with A at all? I don't like m major thirds. I don't like minor sevenths. I hate the whole tone notes, unless you're doing them in, like, a long run, which we won't be doing in a long run here. Uh... I was born on 4-4, four, four, not math. <laughs> oh, yeah, no shit. All right, that's fucking funny. Oh, that's fucking hysterical. Uh, let's see here. So if we go... Oh, we'll, go, we'll do an octave because that always works. Um, so we go up A, and then we're going to go back down to E because that's the fourth, and that's the neutral interval. And what are we missing here? We need the D. So we'll go back up to 7. To e. Oh, is that A, which would be up to A? Yeah, and then we'll go down the 5, which would be another neutral interval. And then we can go back down to 3. All right. So this is, <laughs> this is what I came up with here. All right. It's, the notes aren't going to be the exact pitch, but the intervals are going to be the same because that's what I want to do. Uh, Paul's fucking name riff. Seven. 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 Five. Oh, wait, here, I'll transition over to the... Alright, so we'll go seven, seven, seven. Five. And that's... Come on. Did I... Oh, did I not do that? Alright. 
Okay, and then that would be, if we were to repeat that, that would be in seven. But what we're gonna do now is we are going to be goofy. We'll do 18, six, uh, okay, let's do seven, 18, and 10. So first we will change this bar here to seven, because that's what the riff initially is. And we'll repeat it three times or some bullshit, just to uh, give it a theme. All right, put it four times, because, well, it's four, four, and there's nothing less mathy than fucking four. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna do, um, we're gonna put four measures together, or three measures together, um, and it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna do 16, 18, 10 because I can, and I don't want to do the 6-8, because I don't want to cut it short. Ah, well, fuck it up. Mm. No, this is what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to give this measure here. Dick. Oh, I hate when I put... The location for the um, metronome click and the time signature on Guitar Pro is way too close to that little bar that brings you somewhere along the the lines of the things. <laughs> <laughs> to be specific. All right. Like, that is too close to that little thing that I don't think anyone ever fucking uses. So, write your fucking Guitar Pro Congressman. Um, I'm going to do... What did I decide I was going to do? 16 over 16, really? Okay. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to do 16 over 16. And then I'm going to go... 18 over 16. Oh shit. I hate that. If you don't highlight the metro or the 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 um the measure that you are changing the time signature to, it will change every time signature after that to the time signature you just changed it to, which is the antithesis of anything useful. Uh, I think it should go the other way around. If you want shit changed, you highlight the shit you want changed. So I'll be running for office. I'll be at the local food market, handing out flyers, trying to bring attention to this issue. All right, so we have <laughs> these three measures here. And somehow we're going to make it into music. All right, so that's 14, so I'm going to add three, no, dick, three, seven, I can just copy that again, and click this, Let's start again, three, seven, if that was five, so I'm going to add a, And then I'm going to add this. And those will go to fuckville. Okay, so we'll repeat this little melodic bullshit thing I put there. Actually, what I think I might do is this. All right, I'm going to turn it into an 8 8 riff just to be it or snap, which is a technical term. Um, boom. Uh, learning to think by Chris. There we are. always fix that. Alright, so this is what we have first. No sound? Oh, I put... <laughs> dick! Uh, I put it on a drum kit and it might not let me translate. Please let me translate, dude. <laughs> Alright, so what I just did was I um, 
transcribe this as a drum part. Oops. Okay. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless you. All right. So it says like this. That's what I got out of your name, Paul. Uh, nah. It sounds like some prog rock pop tune. <laughs> Could be cool if there's a blast beat over it, but that's a pretty common understanding. Uh, boom. Paul was born on 4-4. Four, four. Do that. And then we'll go boom. All right, then I did this. <laughs> that was stupid. All right. All right, so I did that. We're going to change it so it doesn't sound so stupid. It's not your fault, Paul. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's uh, my fault. It's always my fault. Uh, let's see here. But we're going to make it cool. We just had this as a framework right now. Uh, we're going to make the notes. <laughs> we're going to change it, the notes. Make it something that isn't the way it sounds now. All right. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, who gives a fuck? I'll fix it later. Do, 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 do. All right, so if I go to three, then up to seven, I'm going to A. Okay. All right, so let's say we do that. All right, so then we're going to make this a six, which is a minor six, which will make that a tritone. We're going to make that a major seventh, and then that's going to be... No, let's make that a minor ninth, because then that would make a tritone right there. And then we would make that a seven again, which would go back to three. Oh, I see what you're doing. All right. Um, let's go to six. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go, we'll put this here. And we'll make that a 716. And we'll repeat it four times, I guess. And the first part, then, then. Okay. <laughs> cool that could be a weird little ambient like break before it gets really fucking intense or some shit insert a bar yes i okay uh i'm gonna kill this all right so this this measure 65 sounds really sterile um but the advantage to it sounding sterile is it doesn't sound particularly like happy i could probably change that G to a G sharp and that would make it sound a little cooler. Now let's keep it fucking light. What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> Wait. Weird, man. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there to, to like, glow. Try 
Oh, that here's an interesting idea. Um, having it go probably the other way around would be cooler, but I'm thinking, all right, so here's this little whatever the fuck it is. Um, got this little pattern. Let's make that uh, 816, I guess. And then make this 916. And then what we'll do is we'll just uh, compensate with rest for the duration of the measure. And it should get more intense as we miss out on um, we lo will lose a note each measure so um, this has to stop okay so something like this <laughs> That note is supposed to be something else there. It is a six. Maybe not repeat it as many times. Um, only two each. Okay. And we could just like break it down all the way to the beginning. And that might actually be pretty fucking neat. It might actually be neat. I mean, it definitely will be neat if, you know, Paul inspired it, so it's, like, probably a really, really fucking good idea. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a bunch of more measures in here just to give me some space. All right, let's see here. Come on. And then we will copy that, make the next one 516. Doot doot. Have you ever gone into the recording studio and people are like, yeah, man, I want to go into the studio with you. And then you're like, but it's really boring. They're like, no, they want to go. They're really, they're really excited about the idea of going to the studio. And you get it because before you had gone into the studio, you thought it was really cool. And then you end up going and it's, it really can be quite boring. <laughs> I'm saying that you should be really bored right now, but... This will be magic. I'm literally going to repeat. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with three, seven, seven, three, seven. Three, six, three, six, and then there's just two. All right, we can kill those last two. That those aren't important. But those notes right before that are important. All right. All right. Now let's just give it. Uh, some kind of um, rhythm that follows 
So we could do this pretty simple here. We could have it uh, have like the just literally follow the. It's a pretty recognizable like um, kind of flow of notes. If you just look at like kick and snare with the the high notes, the you know the higher register notes and the lower register notes here. So like, um, and we could think about other kind of things to follow that pulse after the fact. Oops. All right, so, so far. Might change the notes a little bit. Just keep building up tension here. As we run out of notes in the measure, it should uh, sound more intense because it would be the repetitions would be um, in a higher frequency. Ah, oh, you dick! That happened again. I want to know what I do that causes that, and then stop doing that. Uh, but you know, always get what you want. Oops. So, so far it sounds like this. That sounded neat. Now, uh, let's see here. Do we want to change the... Let's give it a pulse. Um, I'm going to give it a hi-hat thing going over here. And I'm wondering if we want that to just... Oh, this, though, you could just think, make things really annoying really quick here. Um, cause why wouldn't you want to do that? All right, so. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is for the measures that are, um, have odd number um, numerators, I'm going to, instead of just repeating them technically, I'm gonna play them two times in a row but have the, uh, um, the pulse of the hi-hat different on the second one so it'd be like kind of syncopated with the first measure so i don't know if you can see this or not here um or whether or not you would even care uh zoom in i think that was um this here i think i'm uh the 46 of the hi-hat so um I have it like this. And I can. Now I won't need to necessarily do that. Oops. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so. This is why it's going to be annoying. All right, insert bar.
Oh, and I don't repeat that. Nine over seven, nine over sixteen. Uh, Dick. Okay, so let's see. And then I don't need to do that with the even numbered. Oh my god. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. No, it's horrible. It'd be a plague on my family. Oops. Now, you can only imagine how long it would take to actually coordinate learning how to actually play this. <laughs> it takes this long just to fucking program it. Actually, not for nothing. Uh, yeah, it would probably take a little bit longer then. Uh, what did I do wrong here? Everything. So, Paul, did you get anything for your birthday worth noting? Oops.
All right, so this is what we got here. This, <laughs> this is what Paul's name inspired. Here we go. <laughs> this riff <laughs> righteous all right that's that there you go man there's uh something there let me hear that one more time let me see uh possibly changing notes Dent, 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 boom, boom. Where's that extra snare coming? Oh, cool. Well, I actually like that snare there. So we're going to keep that snare there and celebrate it. All right. Now let's see if we can maybe. That's going to be. Oh, it's 110. That might not be the hardest thing to fucking play. Not really. Uh, be a fun little exercise. What happens if we lower everything down a whole step just to make it sound? I mean, we can always move it up a whole step too. Or, huh, what if we just got lower and lower? <laughs> like, so we start off really high, which, you know, is a pretty fucking cool thing to do. Uh, and we just get lower and lower and lower. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna start off there, and then we're gonna go down each section by two. So I'm gonna go down a major second, and then I'm gonna go down a minor third or a minor second. And then these ones are going to stay the same. And this is going to go up a major second. Or a minor second. <laughs> Learning stuff is fun. Oops. That's going to go up a major second. And then this. Go up a minor third. Go up one more. All right, so here it is with the initial melody just descending throughout. if we built up the tension bring up the tension all right so this is going to be hard math to fucking figure out so let's say we start off from oops uh, i think we should build up on that all right so we're going to go down perfect fifth there to make that even and then if I need six to be down to one, we're gonna go down six to one. What would that be? A perfect fourth. Mm -mm -mm. Oops. And then that is.
is going to go down from five to two would be a minor third. And then this will go down a minor second. So that's at three. This needs to go up a minor second. Wait, am I drugs? No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Uh, up to three minor third. Man, this needs to be up to six, which would be a perfect fourth. And then this would be up the six. Really? Did I do that? Oh, no. This needs to be up a minor second. Uh, uh, bad math. Be a good name for a band. Bad math. All right. So let's hear how it sounds if we go the other way around. thing um so i think it's an interesting idea the only thing i'm i'm recognizing though is kind of i don't know how to say it. like it seems like there might be some like loss of distinction between what the actual notes are doing because we're modulating every time but you might not recognize that they're connected so you kind of lose a theme and people like to hold on to themes especially with i mean there's this much modulation I was thinking that maybe um, um, yeah, uh, I don't remember what I was thinking. Oh, um, it's hard to understand what's, I don't think you follow the theme as much. <laughs> Have I mentioned the term theme yet? Um, here, let me, uh, I want to copy and paste this and hear what it would sound like if with, like I should have fucking, didn't think it would matter, but, um, come on. Uh, let's, let's just make everything, um, one again. All right. Uh, transpose. One. Down one. Oops. Down to one would be four. <laughs> Major third. Is that right? Yeah. Major third and fourth. Try to.
All right, so here it is without the modulation. that matters or not you could always do both in the same song at some point like a like a post chorus kind of thing <laughs> that one too i guess all right whatever dude <laughs> all right so we're gonna call that paul's bi big build up paul's build up the new album from paul's testicles <laughs> i don't know man uh if anyone sees adam for poly tell him to get a freaking twitch account it takes like three minutes so he can join the chat uh let's see here all right would it go with any of this shit here <laughs> I just keep the double bass over that part. I like that weird hi-hat thing I'm doing. Or actually, I could probably just copy. If what, What's a hi-hat? It's just, okay, on the, the third of... It's one, two, three, four. Boom. One, two, three, four. That's right. And then I'm doing hi hat right there. Hi hat there. Hi hat there. Hi hat there. Hi hat there. throughout the whole thing there it's like a weird polyrhythm kind of groove going dick get out of my everything because there's literally dick in my everything it's fucking making all my recipes taste like shit not that my dick tastes like shit but that's a whole nother conversation when it came in the second time around like I like that fucking weird off place hi-hat but it's not working right there maybe it works if it comes in on the last four again um, still didn't try that triplet vibe or the the gallop uh, all right
Donut. Oh, that could be interesting. Uh, donut. Donut. Uh, donut. 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 Um. <laughs> Alright, so I heard something in the distance. It was my calling. The call of liberty and justice. <laughs> Um, I like the fact that it just got quiet after that little part. Uh, let's see if we go here and here. Oh, wow, there's a bass on that part. Something must have been getting real fucking serious. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Boom. Uh, what happens if I just... So if we go. Oh, that's interesting. do something similar to that um, but take out some space um, all right let's go all right so got of I don't remember what I just took out uh three three all right so let's make this three eight and add what we just did there boom I'm just gonna take those three out I think one more and then copy I don't think I did the math right on that one let's see if I go Okay, one eighth. Oh, that's a big fucking mess of whatever. One eighth, two eighth, three eighths. So that's seven eighths. Wait, am I doing the right? One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. Ah, oh, fuck. If we do this tool, well, let's see what happens if we only do it once. And this is bugging the shit out of me. Alright, so we got this. Something's there. 
my brain. I'm gonna turn over to three, one, and there'll probably be a slide, not like it fucking matters on here. No, not a bend. Oh, I'm on fucking drugs. This one, and then we'll go. Uh, how could I do that? Four, six. Is that right? How is this working? Right, that is every. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, but that's seven. So I'm gonna take away that. 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 And I'm gonna make this as high hat. I'm gonna go high hat. Right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's supposed to be there. And that is supposed to be here. And this could get tricky. Um, all right, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what would happen if I just put it there? It be one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Huh. What does this sound like? Okay, that's heavy. All right, uh, let's see here. Oops. We'll do that eight times because, nah, we'll do that seven times. <laughs> My bad, sorry guy. No, let's do it nine times because it's cool. <laughs> sorry guys, I almost did something eight times. I apologize. Never will I do that again. All right, so this is kind of what we have going on.
Well, that last part's really heavy. Um, I like some of the ideas in here, uh, but it still needs work. Um, let's see. <laughs> Probably it'd sound better if there's a bass playing behind it. Um. Alright, I think those need to be played at least five times, not four. This is probably some lamest fucking math shit I've ever done. I'm sorry, I keep doing things in four. And it's probably hurting someone's feelings somewhere for some reason. Somehow. Oops. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm at war with my fucking program. Alright. Maybe only do this once? Wait. Alright, hold on. <laughs> I'm only going to do that once. Wait. All right, let's see what happens if I cut this out here. something to break that up from just going one thing into the other because it's it's getting cluttery I'm, I want to try to unclutter the math core a little bit if possible <laughs> Let's repeat. 
repeat that one more time so that someone has an idea what's going on and we'll do it three times. Build it up. Maybe four, just to really help people know what the fuck is happening. It's an odd time. <laughs> so we, it's in 7 8. All right. Uh, I wonder how this all sounds from the beginning. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I always have to start from the beginning whenever I do this dumb shit. Can I wrap it? <laughs> Cool. Uh, I wonder what this does right here. Oh, this is some other bullshit. Um, all right, so that'll happen some here. I'm wondering if we can have some, what a transition between the first part and the second part would sound like here. Yeah. <laughs> Insert a bar. makes more sense than that other part coming in after it but um yeah i don't know let's see here delete the bar what if we just had a just a empty bar hmm what if we did this oops no just like that have that as a startup.
dick. Wrong measure. Do I like those power chord transitions? Are you talking about like the tail at the last on the last riff? Um, Paul, are you talking about this? Yeah, um, <laughs> well, for now, like, all right, when, that's like an old, oh, fuck off, all right, all right, that's like an old riff, um, and there's something ACDC, oh, I need it to be too, uh, like, primitive about it, um, that would sound really full, particularly live, but that being said, there is kind of like a, uh, a lack of, um, dramatic there's a lack of excitement about it i was thinking about like this is at at at, at least like a um like a, a filler spot for something like i probably developed that and could do that now um earlier one of the cats i can't remember thought about like adding like uh some like higher notes like on the higher like on the high e string whatever fucking string it is or i was thinking about like kind of having like some kind of like slidey like changing up the um the the rhythmic uh, melody of it, um, but yeah, uh, it, it's it's if anything a filler spot. I'll probably do something else with that at some point. Um, don't. Uh, like what? Um, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Um, yeah, let me uh, hear that through again. Yeah, I can try to do something now with that. Here. Um. Huh. 
Learn to think. All right, hold on. All right. <laughs> Insert a bar, and I fuck. I'm also just thinking. Um, huh? What was I just thinking? Um, maybe. Cutting that out? Let's see what happens here if we go. <laughs> And I cannot lie. Something about walks by. Uh, insert a bar. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Uh, doom. Why was that there? There shouldn't have been that there. All right. So I'll try to fix that chord thing. Hey, I'm suggesting if you're asking about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's a gentle way of saying, you want to reconsider the value of that particular measure? <laughs>
that something. <laughs> Obviously, the endless tweaking. Um, here, I'll play through everything else we have real quick, and then we'll probably just call it. Um, so this is what else we have going on. on the notes of that um but i think that's a cool part cool all right um super lucre in that shit said the man to the people of the song <laughs> all right uh we're coming up to about an hour and 54 minutes um is there any questions reflections answers suggestions uh anything did everything seem to be glitch free we were a lot simpler um I don't know, I'm going to dick around with other streaming things later, but uh, looks like everything else worked for the most part. Let's see if this is <coughs> glitching. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't know how bad it is on your side of the street. Um, let's see if this even... Uh, uh, playing guitar view. That's not even fucking on right now. Oh, that's why. Um, I think everything else is fucking normal. I don't even know how to, like, flip this around. Like, I tried to... <laughs> right now I'm in, uh... Let's see here. I got this going on. Everything was smooth. Desktop, Guitar Pro, video quality could be better. Yeah, I, <laughs> theoretically it could be better. I think, uh, we might, we might be, uh... Yeah, hey, are you having the issue with the Guitar Pro that, um, hold on one second, I'm playing Guitar View, uh, you can't even read the transcription? Like, it, does this, like, make, does it just look like bullshit lines right now? Her, yeah, um, let's see if I, um, hold on a second, I don't know if I can, um, edit this in real time, let's see if this helps, hold on one second, uh, computer, desktop, all right, and then um, let's see if I do this. Doesn't seem like it's gonna help much. Let's see here. <coughs> you can't, that, yeah, that's still, I think it's gonna be, um, I mean, I don't know how else to necessarily fix it. It might just be until I get like a stronger computer that might just be the fucking the deal has it always been pixelated before this oh hold on what the fuck um uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> How's that? <laughs> it was fine last stream? Oh, what the fuck? I wonder if, um, like, when I went through the um, last stream, nothing was working. Has, has it worked with the other streams? Looks better, but zoomed into the interface too much. Zoomed into the inter. It always worked fine before, but now it sucks dick. Um, here, let's see here. There, okay, so I, the only thing I'm wondering is if, check Twitch on your phone. Oh yeah. Well, I can't, I won't do it now. Um, maybe I will. Let's see. Uh, so I just put the, the new interface on cause everything, like everything's working so much better on this end. Um, but, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go to, um, what am I thinking here? Uh, I, I, I'm like, you know, when it checked out my like coordinates and how it thinks it should send shit out and everything, like I'm wondering if, um, oh, there we are. Don't we need to hear me here? I'm wondering, so what I could try doing is, so next time I could try zooming out and seeing how, how far I can go. I never even thought to check this. You guys must think I'm just, like, the biggest jerk now. Um, view, zoom out, which would be, I think, yeah, let's see here, uh, boom, boom. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll check this out next time to see. I never even thought to do that, 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 um, screen share resolution needs to be higher. Maybe, um, okay where chat and video and audio are much better now. Okay. As far as the screen share resolution needs to be higher, I when I went through, not that I totally know what I'm doing. Um, hold on. What the fuck is going on here? I have no idea what's going on. Um, whoa. Okay, that probably just went to Stupid Village. I just tried transitioning here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, last, can you read, no, the line, you start missing the lines, that's probably the first thing that goes, huh? Fuck. Um, yeah, man, like, I, like, you, you know, when I first put on the, the new OBS, cause I, I started my, like, I factory preset my, my, um, fucking OBS because it's been a son of a fucking bitch and I just wanted to see if there was like if things were just way too over cluttered and if I could improve it by um you know fucking doing that and it seems like I, everything did work a little bit better um but right uh screen share resolution needs to be higher that was my point um it, it went through and it, it told me like what it thought my optimal whatever should be and um yeah, that doesn't look fucking hot let's see here um do 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 uh so i don't know if that is going to um be possible with my fucking macbook macbook air i had another laptop i was gonna i need to get repaired but i'm just fucking screwed for money right now um let's see is that the same so is that the the way the screen is now is that the like the common issue like that's about is this what it was like all fucking day for the most part um let's see here That's insane, like it was just working like a little bit better before. Ugh, so 
fucking obnoxious. Um, wow. All right, so now it's, it looks like total fucking dump. Or does it? Oh, wait, it looks, it looks worse on my screen than it does on here. As long as you can see the numbers, I guess that the lines are kind of, the whole window is pixelated, but you can see the lines and numbers now that you've zoomed in. Like, I really don't need a lot of this shit here. Uh, view, edition, view, global. So, um, let's see. So that's what... I don't know, man. Um, this might be the the best I can do for the time being, just because I don't know that. Um, I if I demand a better pixelated screen, it's going to demand more on my processor, and um, that could compromise everything else. I think if this particular if this, if I can manage this well, even though obviously I'd like it to look like it's the way it's supposed to fucking look, but, um, I don't know. We'll see. All right, oh, uh, yeah, that, uh, that looks fine <laughs> for now. <laughs> um, all right, I should probably, it's, I could probably put headphones on and like sound check what this sounds like next time. So, something you might want. You know, Statistica is something I might want to download, but at the same time, like, hear me out here, I don't want to download anything else. It seems like every time I download something else, everything just starts falling behind. It will help you monitor how much RAM is being used, except that's the thing. There, This already gives me stats um, on, like, what's being used as far as, like, RAM goes um, or my processor. Um, let's see here stats um so i have it at fp like I, I try to minimize as much stuff as possible um it says 3.1 percent of my frames are missed due to rendering lag uh right now my cpu usage is 18 percent which is pretty fucking rad i think Meaning I could probably make my um, screen better then, right? CPA, uh, let's see if what happens when I, if I actually play this here. All right, so that, that's not bothering me. Um, yeah, man, maybe, uh, it will help you monitor much RAM. Yeah, I, maybe if, um, yeah, it looks like the, the CPU is the processing thing. I think when I first was going on before I did this, like, um, yeah, man, it was like going up to 99% and shit. So what, okay, so what I want to do is, yeah that shows your memory usage. Oh wait, do you know how much RAM your machine has? What's the year of your, I mean, can I just look it up on the preferences, I think? Um, this is what my laptop has. And I, is that what you're looking for? Uh, yeah, so Paul was saying I need to, uh, whole window. Screen share resolution needs to be higher. Screen share resolution needs to be higher. I wonder why the fucking videos were all. Trying to bump up the screen share resolution until CPO is like six. All right. Um, I'm thinking I should probably do the live stream thing first.
to with the other um whatever's <laughs> you know fucking see if uh I wonder if I can add live stream right now. Let's see here. Um, okay. Oh wait, I wanted that. Uh, let's see here. RAM memory are interchangeable. Looks like eight gigabytes. So um, yeah, let's see here. What am I doing here? Uh, I'm going to find that stat that I need. Uh, docs, stats. Okay, so I'm disk space available, 64 usage. All right, so if I go, let's see here. I'm gonna go YouTube live right now and see if that is something that the city wars begin. Oh, great. <laughs> What I need to do also is figure out, without downloading a zillion fucking trillion things, how to get the um, the uh, the messenger to function using multiple resources. Whether it is um, copy, hold on. Uh, okay, so I need. Um, Let's see here, stream, uh, reset view, how do we do this log, custom print audio, stream information, Twitch activity, I gotta remember how to add, uh, cause I, um, yeah, if I'm streaming in other sites, I need to be able to get it so everyone can fucking communicate here, uh, screen, so source stats, Multi view enter full screen docs. Screen sources. Custom browser docs. Oh, here we go. I think add docs by no. Um no, that's not the one I'm looking for. Uh, stream information. What the fuck is grooving in the moon? This is twenty four. Oh, I don't need that. Okay, um. How do you, let's see. Oh, I had to, to multi-screen with the OBS, I had to download some fucking thing. Um, yeah, maybe I'll, I'm wondering if that's gonna, um, Let's see here, um, multi-stream. I'm wondering how much if that adds multi-stream OBS. Uh, OBS Studio, OBS Project. How to stream on multiple platforms. I think. Oh, here we go. Trying to make my computer work the way it's supposed to. Ooh, yeah, motherfucker. All right, well, you guys don't have to fucking sit around and watch this shit. <laughs> you, you, you obviously know that. So, um, all right, so I'm going to look into improving my screen share resolution. In this video, we're going to look at how you can multi-stream to... Um, and then, uh... Um, worst case scenario, I just fucking clear everything all over again. Oh, 
All right, well, I appreciate everyone coming and hanging out with me tonight. Uh, <laughs> we're getting some material done, which is good, right? That's uh, a fair thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, until uh, I, I see you guys next, um, have the most beautiful everything all the time for every reason imaginable. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.